Hey guys, Ferro TV here. My sixth element, Randy, got to level three. Free to play. I I think I gotta gotta prove that to you guys, by the way, because there's currently <laughs> this offer out out there where I was making the tinfoil hat video about Ratlink's genius strategy to make us buy them. This Randy will probably be upgraded to level three by my team. Well, it's likely, I'd say. And I will have him in the team versus team. That will be goddamn fun. So I thought I should try him out first and maybe make a video about it there. 10 out of 10. <laughs> maybe make a video out about it. The, the deck is pretty damn random, I have to admit. The deck is rather random. Um, it's decently cost it's 3.4 it's a little bit high cost without pope timmy because i gotta say i have to play music all the time pretty much because it's just that strong so when i make a video showing off a nice level card i feel like i deserve to play something else so i put good old zoro or swordsman garrison in here because why not? <laughs> Even though he doesn't fit at all. And oh, team eights. Oh my god, team eights with the rainbow flag. That is funny. But offensive, guys. We're YouTube here. Very social justice. DC principle. Did you assume that gay people had eight? That's not a microaggression. That's highly offensive, I guess. <laughs> oh, level three hook and glide. He might have a shot. By the way, check this Randy out. 184 attack. That's sick and 1200 hp now the roomba 375 <laughs> sorry <laughs> 57 it's like also pretty insane honestly look how they kick their asses damn but this this one was hitting like a truck at the moment come on stop it stop hitting me like that i don't like it i don't appreciate it he doesn't play anything. All right, I'll take it. Randy is dead already, but I think Doma Kesh Sailuk um, gave up seeing this completely overpowered card of mine. So let's just do this and let's check out his stats again. Damn it, we can't. Just the base stats. I think his. It's something like 217 that he does at the moment. I think he is a really good card. And when he's fully released, I will try my best to request him. If not too many people request him. I just want to go back to a nice adventure deck. And since I want to go back to play adventure, I need... Yeah. I need a card that is really strong. I need Stand of Many Moons on level 3 and I need him on level 5 before I can can go back i think stan is only one card away but only luck can get me there wow what is going on at the moment with my epics in my lockers joe i know you're watching this you must go nuts with my epic luck in the lockers that's why all my epics are level four i get them in like it feels like every second locker gives me an epic and uh, that's totally out of line probably but it is probably every fourth locker or something like that outside of token events so that's pretty sweet though let's be honest no one needs level 5 epics they are completely a waste of your resources like even upgrading them using the materials like even if i had an epic being able to reach level 5 i probably wouldn't do it because the amount of materials it costs i probably rather spend those materials for some i don't know some little levels for the team versus team or the challenge mode or just for fun switching around decks doesn't seem worth it at all for a level four to five epic we can go again with the randy and you know what we'll just top it off and poison this medusa baby or not damn it well after she connects we'll go bounty hunter kyle on them and dog poo in her face Smear that poo up her face. Hell yeah. This is already an insane push, honestly. Like, what did he achieve with the mana he played? Not much. While I have an insane push. And I think he will definitely give me this bar. 
maybe even more than that. No one cares about their games these days. After the, <laughs> after the re reset, everyone is like me now. Everyone is like, okay, let's get some cheap ass wins instead. Why? Why should I try? Why should I try at all? And finished. Let's see what's on the locker this time. Now, I am looking forward to this um, team versus team because of this level 3 Randy. I think um, a level 3 legendary in the team versus team game is kind of overpowered. Especially the thing is like, there is no unholy combustion, there is no transmogrify. There isn't, there isn't anything like that, not even cock magic. So, how do they deal? What are the cards to deal with the Randy? I think he slaps just everyone else totally in the face. He beats the shit out of every other card that is in there. If you have him on level 3, I think um, you get 3 wins because of that. Unless, of course, you get one player in the whale teams like Free to Play Whales, Illuminati, Szechuan Sauce. Like, there's lots of whale te uh, teams out there at the moment. And yeah. Unless you hit those, I think level 3 Randy will give you the win, which is why the offer is so tempting at the moment. But guys, let me say you this, you are only 1 out of 50, probably in your clan. You should not invest for team versus team, honestly. Not right now. We will all be in Wooden League for at least 3 more team versus teams. Only if you win every... Uh, every bracket on the first spot you will reach uh, the Bronx lead league um, after the next three weeks and if that doesn't happen then it will take a week longer or however you had <laughs> however it had to take oh. and let's slice her up so I don't think it's worth it to buy something for that I can understand the whales doing it once they reach the gold league or Maybe, yeah, once they reach the Gold League and they just really want to get in here, go crazy about this, but other than that, hell no, don't do it. Damn it, I did not really pay attention here, what's going on even. I don't like this. Yeah. Sorry for that, I was too much. I don't even have mana left, I played <laughs> this terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just getting owned. Let's play the Randy. Let's see how much Randy can just get out of here. Alright, Dogpoo is decimating him, but he has a really strong attack as well. He survives one more hit, and here we go. We get a Roomba out. The Freeze Protocol actually killed it. Damn it. But the Roomba... Alright. Goodbye. Can we get back here against Ass with lots of ones? Not sure. We have 1 minute and 30 seconds left. He's not getting a hit in. I knew it. Okay. How much HP do they have? They don't survive a freeze protocol. God damn it. God damn it, guy. Eh. Oh my god. Why am I getting raped so much? Ah, uh, you probably will be cringing out about this match. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's get one in here. Oh my god. Butchered. I am getting butchered. Please hit. Please hit Bounty Hunter. Of course he doesn't. God, really? He wanted to take the third part just like that. God damn it. He's making a mockery out of me. He's mocking me. 28 more seconds. My goodness. Yeah. I deserve to lose this. My attention span was... I don't know. My reaction was that of a wall and my attention span was that of a wine watching Instagram model. <laughs> I don't know why I dissed him. <laughs> I rather meant wine watching 
or Instagram story watching kids who cannot pay attention for longer than seven seconds. That's how I performed right here. So I stopped this embarrassment and I can tell you guys level three, Randy is pretty damn good. I'd say, however, you should probably play him in front of a unit you want to take down so he gets some immediate value out of his huge attack boost. He's not that crazy of a tank, only 1200 HP compared to Grand Wizard Cartman that is nothing or member pick or, or even PC principal. That's not much, but other than that, he is a pretty solid card. And I will look, I'm looking forward to play him in the team versus team. Until then, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Pharaoh out.